What's up, man? What's going on, bud? This is so awesome. I am glad to be here. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, welcome back <laughs> to the Joshua Cassidy Show. I can't say that. What is this? Let me make sure this is over here. I'm not editing this, right? No, but I, but hopefully you got the cord inside the lens there because that would have made it better. Yeah, hopefully it's picking up our audio. I don't care. If well, not, I do care. You can just subtitle it later. <laughs> For the podcast? Yeah, put the captions in. The, just, the, you can do Braille on the podcast, right? Dude, oh my gosh. I'm so excited and nervous. And I always, ugh, at the beginning of these podcasts and at the end of the podcast, I get so freaking amped up. And But I'll, I promise I'll, I'll chill out and I'll, it'll be okay. We'll settle in the groove in a minute. Oh, I forgot. You want to, I don't have a coffee mug for you or something. Do you want a bottle of water? No, I'll get my own later. <laughs> Do you want a water? No. Yeah, yeah. I mean, since you're up, I'm not gonna make you get up in vain. Well, here you go. I'm. A, I think I'm gonna Pure. try to get like coffee cup mugs or something. Totally should. Oh, and I'm not gonna. St at the end, I'm just gonna you hold this. You should put your logo on them. See, That's, I've got inside of a colored film. But you should put your logo on a coffee mug. What is that? That's your logo. How'd you get my logo? Dude, I work in technology. That's awesome. <laughs> It's on your podcast. Oh, I know that, but I never saw it in my hand before. Oh, what is that? Just a piece of paper? Yes. Well, I can't. T I, got, I got something in there. I can't take it out yet. So I'll give you the paper at the end. You brought me a toy? No. No. You brought me a gift? You want another bottle of water? <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. Yeah, no, 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 no. You'll, you'll see. It'll make sense later. Okay. Well, see, I've watched all of your podcast. That's awesome, man. And they're wonderful. I'm loving them. Your guests, you, it's great. Well, I I love the concept. I love being here. Dude, I Even though they have no clue who I am. That's the best part. Oh about yeah. It. Well, this mysterious guy. So just we can go with the the mystery or the online name. Well, I'll get to that. The second podcast, the reason why it was terrible. Chris thinks it's him. It's kind of no, halfway is. It, it wasn't terrible except for no, that one statement you made. Okay, wait a minute. No one's seen that podcast. That's deleted. The, the, that, the one that I watched today that would have been your second one? Or is there a no, mystery that, second one that yes. nobody's seen? Chris and I did just one with me and him. But okay. it was atrocious because we had the camera real close. And the whole time I kept like just looking at the camera, talking to the camera. Hey, Chris. Uh, yeah. So I don't even – I just say hi. And then I just forget that sucker. And I'm talking to you. Yes, because it was, t oh man, it was just, it was so bad that maybe I'll release it one day, but it's atrocious. It's so you got to put out the outtakes. Since uh, everything's unedited, it's just a whole clip of outtakes, right? Yeah, it's really <laughs> bad. I think there's like some statements that I'm probably, <laughs> <laughs> I hate everybody. You're, you're good. Okay, so I, I'm going based on what you've released to the public because me is the public. I, I think, is yeah. it what you text me about, about the stupid Doctor Strange movie? No, I didn't text you. I commented on your video. Oh, yeah. Comment on the videos on YouTube. It's worth it. He'll re he'll reply. And then I'll forget. <laughs> you might forget. That's okay. You love that movie, for real? Dude, I love it. Yeah. Why? It's, it's just amazing. It's, it's, we're not going to go down that route. Okay, right? okay. okay. That's another... You, that, we'll, I'll come back for that one. We'll, we'll have... We'll hit the whole Marvel comic universe again, too. I know you did it. Focus right there on Endgame. We'll hit the whole thing later. Because we can't go down that path right now. I'm a little, little hurt. I'm just going to ignore that because <laughs> if I start if I start rebuttaling what you said, it's going... Anyways, let's just save that. Yeah, we'll save it. So are we going to... How long is it easier to say how many times we've seen each other... In person or how many how many years we've known each other? Both. Well, I don't know either. So, no, I, well, I could probably do the math on the. I, I think the in person meetings. I don't have that same thing. You, you got me in a room with a lot of stuff. The the stabilizer. Oh, you didn't get I, that? No, I Did bought my wife something similar. Sorry. Oh, whatever. But same so thing. the in person visits. I think this would be number three. One, two. So I think crap, it would have been is it three. I think three. So it would have been around 2000, 2013 or 2014. I was out here for business. And me and a handful of the other guys, we met up over at the Chili's over at uh, yes, I remember that. Grapevine Mills Mall. I'm yeah, not a native Texan, so pardon my... Uh, yeah, you should be. Well, well you are well, now. I should be sorry. I should be pardoned. I should be native. 
Every, I, okay, I don't, cool. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was trying to cap you, but yeah, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. <laughs> so this would be three because we had a gamer hangout at Chili's. Good food, great eats, great people. I mean, the people. Okay. Oh yeah, it's like recycled food. This is not sponsored by Chili's. No, okay. but the Southwest egg rolls are amazing. I agree with you. Um, and then. Like an absolute boss, somebody showed up at your church Dude. one day and surprised you. Yeah, that was awesome, man. He's an amazing man. Yeah, that's you. So, are you gonna do you go by Poe or do you go by Dragon or do you go by D Dog or David? I go by all of those. The one that I would prefer to keep off the table is Poe Dinger. <laughs> is that we, from where you're from? Well, it was a uh, childhood yeah. nickname. So, hey, Poe Dinger, come in here and get some taters. <laughs> so, the background is. Yeah. We play video games together, right? Yeah. Poe Dragon Warrior is my gamer tag. So we've played since 2012, I think. We've been playing games. And how that started, I think it was, um, I think it was Tori that said, I forgot his name, Captain Obvious. Yes. Was like, oh, dude, there's a there's a Christian gaming group that meets yep. online and plays Call of Duty together. Good Christian dudes. I'm like, what? That's awesome. So I don't, I, I don't know if I, I think I went to the Facebook page or something or got linked up with y'all playing. I think it was Call of Duty Black Ops. No, wait a minute. So probably, I don't remember. depending on the time, Modern no. Warfare 3 or Black Ops 2 would have been around the time frame, I believe, when we started. Not playing. Ghost? It could have been or Ghost. It was the one before Ghost. I think before Ghost was... And all of you Call of Duty fans, you're going to critique us like crazy here. That's cool. Uh, it's the 2011 was. Uh, yeah, exactly. Right. That's what we love about it. Um, <laughs> Black Ops 2, I think, was before Ghost. But I think we spent a lot of time playing Destiny. Yes. You got me into Destiny. I was the one? Well, I mean, a lot of the people moved to it. But some of my first ever footage of gameplay live on the internet was with you. Did I send you like a free code or something? Or I don't. I, I don't what, know. But that that I think it was you. And who was with us that day? It was. Um, I think it was another local. I think guy. it was David Tips. Yes. At Seville or Fire. Yeah, somebody, him. I don't Shout remember. out, rock on. I but yes, yeah, so, I mean that was when I like got blown up yeah, by the servitor at the end of the. Uh, <laughs> Dude, first that was, strike. That was wonderful. I, <laughs> I'm not putting. I do you still have that? It's on it's on YouTube, man. It's on my on my page. You can find the link right here. I'm not gonna do that. I'm you're not gonna, gonna do, you're gonna do it right I'm here. not gonna put gotta the go, name there. You gotta go right there. Like, oh, I don't wanna edit second. anything. You don't have to edit, you just gotta put an annotation. Okay, yes, See? I'll do that. Yes. That's all, I, you know? Oh it's just God. for the fun of it. <sighs> okay. You're not gonna remember, I'll comment later, I'll remind you. So before <laughs> Yeah. So before we go down that path, yeah. I okay. I've been. I got a lot of messages about this stupid bracket that I'm doing, the bro bracket. Yeah. And I don't know if I didn't. Did you? Do you understand? Like, as I totally as, get it, man. I'm a sports guy. NCAA bracket every year. I never participate because I don't okay. know much about that. Did I do a good job explaining it? I don't know if I, I did. I don't know if you did or didn't. But let me explain it for you. Okay, please. The reality is, how many people are we putting in this bracket? Sixteen, thirty-two. So well, hopefully I don't know more how many, than eight. Yeah. But see. I, Pick a number. You've got you 16. have sixteen. I'm going to say sixteen. So once you get to sixteen, we're capping it off, right? Yes, yes. And not we. I mean, you know, e my my e. my selection will win. Well, but hold just on. as a side note, I don't think so. But second of all, continue. <laughs> okay. So anywho, you're going to have sixteen. I don't know how you're going to seed them at all and kind of put them through, or if you're just going to draw names out I, of a hat. Well, you may depending have to draw on names who comments. Maybe in the name out of the hat thing. I think some form of randomizer for, for who's placed where. Yeah, I, I'm not going to do it. I'm not right. going to. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll put so, them together. I'm so out of the 16, you'll yes. have eight. So you'll have yes. eight matches, so four aside, and yes. each person goes against somebody else. And somebody wins, like yes. mine, no, okay. and somebody will lose, like everybody else's. And then you'll have 16, that goes down to eight. Yes. And after that, you'll do four matches. Yes. And that'll go down to four. And then you'll have the final four. That'll yes. go down to two. And then my guy will still be there. Pa, I mean, I, yeah, I'm sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm confident about this. That's pretty bold. It's bold. Well, I don't know how. Grace through me gives me confidence. That's 
oh, you can't do that with Jesus. You can't put Jesus on that. Look, I'm not. Jesus, bl- I'm, I'm not throwing any of the Trinity on on the bracket. Okay. <laughs> okay. So just know that I'm not doing that, and I'm not dismissing them as their deity. I'm not selecting them in the bracket. So I don't know if I should random not. I, I people would have to vote. On that match, like okay, well, well, the, the first four who, to find out who wins, you have to do it. You can't do a random victor. There has to be some logic. I know. To I'm kind of winging well, this. You can figure that out later. You got time. Okay. Okay. So that's it. Let me know so, who yeah. your favorite bro is, and may or may not put him in the bracket. So are you gonna reveal your choice that you're so confident? That's what's in the sleeve right here. You got caught. Oh, my God. Okay. I just giggle like a little girl. Like, so uh, we can show everybody who it is, or I can let you read it. I think you're more prepared than I am. <laughs> that, I, that's how I roll. I'm overwhelmed. Okay. You might sabotage my show, and I'm okay with that. Like, I'm, to I'm take here. it and like, make no. it the post show. I ain't got time for this. Oh. I mean, I got time to be here tonight. <laughs> okay. I mean, I, I love what you're doing here. This is great. Dude, thank you. Okay. So let's do it this way. We're going to show it to the camera. Oh, gosh. I won't look. And I'm going to read it out because Chuck what about the Norris. That are not? Oh, my God. No. Chuck Norris no! can never fill out an online form because he will never submit. Oh, my God. You son of a gun. <laughs> you know. So, uh, uh, I see your wall back there. No, man. I'm going to give this to you. I'm going to set it right. But I want you to tape that to your wall. Because... I am shocked. I am shocked that nobody picked him so far. I'm sitting here listening. I'm like, please tell me it's not Chuck Norris. I don't know why they wouldn't pick Chuck. He uh, is the obvious. I'm severely um, stunned with your choice. That's uh, beautiful. Do you see the confidence, though? Yeah. Because I'm sorry, I I doubt you. Man, I'm really okay. Um, well, so to recap, I win on the bro bracket. Other people are coming in later. So we got Derek in week one picked Harrison Ford. It was a good choice. I I did like that choice. I one of my personal favorites. Week two, Chris picked Chris Helmsworth. Alex picked. Um, Ryan Gosling, and then he was going for the looks. He he's yeah, going to be he is an sorely young man. disappointed on that. <laughs> and then Elliot picked um, Jake Gyllenhaal, mm-hmm. and then last week the stunning pick of Joel picking his dad. I respect the pick. I respect the pick. I will not say nothing. Bless the guy. Yeah. And um, and now. Out of a shocking turn of events, you pick Chuck Norris, which is absolutely breathtaking and an amazing forerunner for the victory, I think. I'm looking forward to the competition because I don't see much yet. Wow, dude. Okay, so whoever comes on next week, step up <laughs> hope your it's game. Not someone lame, um, like the man, which is the shirt I'm wearing. You know who this is? I don't know who that is. You're not a wrestling fan? Used to could, can't no more. When did you stop watching wrestling? I probably stopped in uh, the late 90s, early 2000s. So, like when the WCW, WWF, yeah, right around that whole dude, man, it is awesome now. I'm not debating it, It, it's great entertainment. I just don't watch it. (sighs) Well, that makes me sad. Yeah, you want to hear my macho man impersonation? I would love to hear it. Okay, maybe later. Maybe later. We're here for a while. We got time. Okay. So, oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. I just shaking my water bottle all over you. So the one thing that you brought up that we talked about, which is the meat and potatoes of this sucker, is, man, video games. Yeah. They they get such, oh, I've been playing video games forever. I, it has a bad rap, man. That's a horrible rap. There's a lot of people that obviously are addicted to it mm-hmm. and have to play yes. every night and it ruins their family's lives. Yep. But it, it, even like I have, I've had times where like, that's like the only thing yeah. that is like my hobby. Like, yep. okay, editing YouTube. I love that. That's, I guess that's a hobby. I, I'm, you know, a career now, 
I mean, people are making careers out of video games, but mm -hmm. even like, okay, I don't go out, I don't drink, I don't do anything. Like when it's all said and done and there's everybody's asleep and I have me time, well, man, I flip on the game, I play whatever, and that's it. But sometimes even like the flipping on the game like could make people lose their mind. Like, oh, you're addicted. Like, dude, what? Yeah. And I don't, I don't know, like, if there's a way to to me put medicine on it, or like, like with everything in the world, there's always people have um, a made up judgment of everything. And I just wish, like, we have like common ground, like we could go and just talk about everything. Like, look, this is why this is not so bad. Yes, if you play for freaking fourteen hours a day and your family is ruined, like the guy that played World of Warcraft for like. Yeah. 23 hours or something. I mean, that's a long stretch to be sitting at a computer or a console. I mean, I wouldn't say I'd never do it, but, well, it, it, you know, it's there's a balance. Life goes on everything. vacation. Yeah. All your chores are done. Your bills are paid. No kids. No wife around. You flick on that sucker, and it's it's game time. Yeah. But, oh, but it's okay to watch a three-hour movie in Avengers. Yeah. Sorry. I'm not like, uh, uh, uh. But despite that, I've met some, like you, I met yeah. you, we've been friends since 2012, there's been, I can't even think about how many times playing Destiny or Call of Duty, yeah. where I'll be going through something, I'm like, dude, man, because I know you're like a little bit older than me, not that, not that much. A week much. or two, yeah. But, yeah. We'll leave yeah. it there. <laughs> Grandpa over here. I'm younger than other people too, so that's that's my saving grace. No, I am younger than Chuck Norris. The reason I said that because when I met you in 2012, I knew that you were older and wiser than me. That you've been doing, you have your own not a business, but you your your job is baller. You got your life together. You're making money. You got a wife. You got a house. And I'm still like you know, still trying to figure stuff out. So there's been countless times where I, we'll get online like, hey, seven o'clock, yes. Flip it on, get online, and like, dude, man, I'm dealing as we're like shanking little zombies or whatever we're killing. Yeah. And, and it but just, it's legal because it's digital. Yeah. And of with course. your background in uh, law enforcement, you know that doing that. I don't really and, say that. I'm, well, I kinda, you brought it up in another one, so I'm gonna, oh, gonna yeah, okay. just for a second here. Cover blown. <laughs> yep. Um, you know that doing that in real life is very bad. And we'll leave it at that. I mean, so. Yeah, I can't. I can't kill any people anymore. Yeah. JK didn't really do <laughs> Never that. Never happened. Um, Crap, just kidding. I feel like this microphone it is totally slowly dropping. dipped. It is, yeah. Like it started up there and it went down to here. Golly, man. Here, I'll be your, your sound tech for the night. I'm not editing this. I don't. Like this sucker was super. You didn't have torque down enough, man. What'd you say? You didn't have it torqued <laughs> What'd down you enough, man. Okay, anyways, okay. sorry about that. Rotate. I'm not edited that out. I know. That's, 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 that's what I love about it. Standard. <laughs> Except, okay. Well, oh, how many times I've been online? Yeah. I flip it on. I'm going through some crap. I, I have questions about, like, even biblically, what do you believe? What do I believe? Mm -hmm. And how many times have you've helped me? Yeah. Or other people? Yeah. And that's uh, that's what I love about it. I mean, I, I played. Original Nintendo growing up, I, you know, back in the days of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh man, Contra. I hate Contra. Okay, I don't want to get on a tangent. Yeah, go ahead, please go, please go. So uh, I grew up playing those games. Yeah. Um, the Sega goes around and eh, didn't really do much, and then eventually PlayStation came out. Cool, yeah. So I always played games growing up, and then out of high school, went into work, first family, and I went through a divorce. Yeah, 2011, 2012 time frame. I don't remember the exact time. Wow, yet. man. But that's right around the time I got back into gaming. Because wow. going through a life shakeup and uh, learning how to cope is no longer part of a full family. I had some time with my kids, so I had mm -hmm. my father's visitation set up with my kids. And four nights a week, I was by myself. So I didn't have a lot of extra money. Yeah. Uh, I had all sorts of time, and it was a good hobby. And I had another buddy of mine that I played with that I went to church with. He played, so that's when I started playing. Was right around Call of Duty Modern Warfare Three. Not long after playing is when I met up with the clan that I'm in still to this day, Elite Christians. You mean and group, not clan, right? Clan, not like the clan. <laughs> 
not the clan, but a clan, like a group. Yeah, a that group. Sometimes a brotherhood of and sisterhood well, not a, too. But you know, well, like, not I mean, like not like a brotherhood, like the brotherhood, but like the not brotherhood, that brotherhood, like a good brotherhood. Yeah, like you and I are brothers. Oh, but we're not in the hood, though. We're not in the hood, but a brotherhood, or a group of brothers. Okay, okay, a group of brothers. Okay, <laughs> brotherhood just sounds better. I, I like brotherhood. <laughs> But I'm not like, using hood in that sense. Okay, okay. Oh, oh my gosh, okay. And there were some girls in there too, so it would have been a brother and sisterhood. Or familyhood. Fa I don't know. Okay, yeah. real quick. Go ahead. I said this to you the other day, and it made me think of a story. Okay. Of when I was a cop, right? Mm -hmm. We weren't talking about that though, you said. I know. Go ahead. But I already, I'm ready. I can never, yeah. you know, I was, I'm you trying to play. You can't get back what you've done. I just want to be the next Keanu Reeves in Point Break, but like not the new Point Break. Be the next to you. Okay. Yes, I will do that. Well, John Wick's pretty sweet. Okay. That's, that's some intense. I haven't seen the new one yet, but that's intense stuff right there. I'm about to name off a lot of stuff. Okay. Let me yeah. hold on. Let me hold on. Rain it in. I almost. Okay. Yeah. I'm a popo. I get called to this house. Gunshots, mm -hmm. right? So we get the guy out of the house, and I'm looking in the house, making a sweep of the house, make sure everything's okay. The guy's house was awful. There, I mean, it's a little apartment, but literally the whole floor was covered with beer cans. There's over, there's pizza boxes everywhere. There's Chinese takeout everywhere. Mm -hmm. There's roaches and crit. It was, it was awful. Just gagging as I'm trying to search in this room. I'm like, oh my goodness, dude. I get into the room. There's um. Man, dirty clothes everywhere. Toilets, just, I mean, it's the filthiest place ever. Yeah. I open up the closet. As I open this closet, it was immaculate. Cleanest closet in the world with one freaking KKK gown hanging in the middle. And I swear, it was like, it was glowing. It was so white in that nasty dark house, mm -hmm. it was as if that gown was like glowing, clean, white. It freaked me out, man. Oh my God. Like legitimate, like, it's almost like I've never even seen the material that's made that sucker. I don't know what kind of, it was awful. Freaked me out. Got, yeah. you know, the, the another guy came and he took the call, whatever, but it was like, I'll never forget that. So he said the clan, you know. It's not uh, that clan. It's not that clan, At but all. it made me think of the clan, you know, yeah. the clan. No, not the clan. Oh, a yeah. bad clan. No, this is a good clan. Oh, the good, yeah, yeah, yeah the, that one. That one is the bad clan. So how'd you find the good clan? So my buddy from church, who also played with another guy, randomly came across these guys playing video games, which is basically how the group started. It was just six guys that ended up all of a sudden connecting and they started playing together every night. And... Just that was the just random. The, a couple of them knew each other outside of gaming, but yeah. then that just they would pick up like, oh hey yeah okay yeah hey cool join our parties. You can join parties and squads, and yeah, parties and all sorts of stuff. And they they were talking online, communicating, and then I don't remember. I think it was Modern Warfare three or call it Black Ops two, one of them, where you can actually formalize a clan. And so before that, it was just clan tags. So they would put in their clan tag as the number four and God. So yeah, four yeah. And they just started seeing that. And so, you know, there's not a big reputation out there. It's getting more and more of Christian gamers. And so, you know, a couple of them found each other and they started running together. Well, then a couple more people found them, a couple more people found them. And basically that's kind of how I got into rolling with these guys that I've been rolling with ever since 2012. And, you know, people like you. And just like you said, you know, I, there have been times where God's given me wisdom to help share yeah. with you for the things you're going through. And I've been able to give you information based on things I've done well and things I've not done well. We've all fallen. Yeah. Do you get back up? Yes. Um, and, you know, whether it be things of the spirit or things of the world that we have to go through or just, hey, man, let's. Get online and game. It's been a rough day. I just want to blow off some steam. Yeah. Let's go play. And so just having that group of people you play with and a, necula a, a nucleus of friends has been great online. And some of the guys I play with, they don't, they haven't had, for whatever reason, a lot of people in their real world out there that they've been able to get along with because everybody's personality is different. Yeah. I know people who have, you know, they're, they like to go out and bike. Cool. Go have fun. Yeah. Uh, and they meet all sorts of people playing it, riding their bikes around town. Yeah. And everybody has a different little niche. 
And that's one of the things like I didn't love the complexities of gaming. And I play with a ton of different people and I have over the years. And it's just Yeah, man. It's a hobby. And I, I know people just you were talking about your video editing. People can sink a lot of money into photography and videography. I know you know that. I mean, yeah, the yeah. equipment we're using in here, stuff isn't cheap. There's people that do mountain climbing. That's not cheap equipment. And so a lot of people are like, oh, why would you spend your money on video games? Because I enjoy it. Yeah, and it's way cheaper. 300 bucks for a, a PS4, yeah. 60 bucks, you play it. I mean, you go out to dinner and see a movie, yeah. that's like over 100 bucks right there, movie, nice dinner. That's one night, you pay 60 bucks, yep. you're playing forever. Yep. And I, I mean, I travel for work. I take my PlayStation with me. That's awesome. Dude, my PlayStation was happiest going back to, to Japan. Wait a minute, you went to Japan? Yeah. Oh, you did go to Japan. And I took my PlayStation. It's like, freedom, I'm home. I had to come back to the States with me, but uh, it was so excited to be over in Japan, in the motherland. The thank motherland. You, thank you, Sony. <laughs> Dude, that's amazing. Who were the original six? So, the original six, I'm going to try and remember. The original six I'm, I'm people give that, two. that started the elite Christian, the yeah. elite Christian I'm going to give group. The, the two, what I would say, kind of founding fathers. One is going to be retired SFC. Retired SFC, the SFC. founding father. And <laughs> his awesome. brother-in-law, Boia. Oh. And that's an acronym for Bound on Earth as in Heaven. I never knew that. I hope, if you ever listen to this, dude. I hope you guys do. You never, sometimes like you, people pick their usernames and sometimes like, oh, what does that mean? But sometimes I'm like, I don't want to ask. Like, Always ask. I don't know. Man. There's a story behind it. I know. You you're, you're a man of stories. So I would, I'm, I'm a, shocked you don't ask. Well, sometimes yeah, I met a lot of people. I lived in New York. I was a cop. Went to acting school. Bible school, YouTube. I met a lot of people. H E B. Lots. Of, man, please sponsor me, H E B. I worked there for three times. I'm a good dude. Great I'll, dude. I should have. Oh, this is. I don't know what brand. I, I thought that was Hill Country Fair. Sorry. Okay, but in the future, I, I'll have your stuff there. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were about to just to drink. Yeah. Just leave it. Hill Country Fair. Come on, man. Yeah. My mind is shut down. Let me open back up. Oh, I met all these people, and sometimes you don't know how people are going to react. That's yeah. that's a long yeah. roll around of why I didn't ask him his name. Not to say that I thought I, he gave me any signs yeah. that made me think he was going to react differently or anything. But yeah. you just don't ask some people. Yeah. How did you get your name? Okay. Is it right? My gamer okay, tag yeah. is Poe Dragon Warrior. Spell it. P O D R G N W A R R I O R. Po Dragon Warrior. Po Dragon Warrior. Just like Kung Fu Panda. And I got it <laughs> from the, the the movie series at the time. It I loved it. I mean, Jack Black didn't look like himself at all. Yeah. But that was a great, great series. Loved it. And I'm at the time I was sitting there, I'm like, because I was a youth pastor at the time too. So I'm trying to I didn't know that. It's totally a youth pastor at the time. And a worship leader. Yeah, well, I may not have been the worship leader then, but I had been involved with being the youth pastor for years and being on the worship team for years. And so I wanted to try and find something that was fun, had a little bit of cool factor to it. Yeah. Um, and could just kind of translate to a lot of different areas without being offensive because I just wasn't a very offensive person. Yeah. Unless I had played, you know, outside soccer all day long and then I'd be very offensive until I showered. Ah! <laughs> uh... But, um, <laughs> so yeah, it's after Kung Fu Panda. That's a, and so I've funny. Always loved it. So going back to, to the Poe Dinger from earlier, too, I, I got to say this. Here. Okay, okay. So I'm online probably the last four or five months ago playing with the Triad SFC. He and I still game together today. Um, and all of a sudden, some <sighs> random kid joins our chat party. Yeah. And it's me retired and some other guy. I can't remember. And we're sitting there going like, who is this kid? And I'm thinking, this is like a 10, 11 year old. I'm, I'm baffled. And so at some point, he just hangs out in the party, not really saying much. And so I'm all of a sudden, kind of random. I go, I, I, who, whose friend is this? Or who, whose friend are you on? You know, we're, we're curious how you know us. And so you hear him go, oh, hold on, hold on. So he goes back to his menu to kind of go to his friends list to see who on his friends list is in this party. And all of a sudden he goes, uh, Poe po Dinger Warrior? 
Oh man, that's my friend. <laughs> he totally mispronounced the name, and you're limited to characters. Poe Dinger. Poe Dinger. So, <laughs> retired, when you watch this, get a good laugh out of Poe Dinger. You're going to love it for the rest of our life. I know you give me on it all the time. <laughs> that's but it, that amazing. was a great night. And, and there have been plenty of great nights. And like we were talking about that Destiny the first time. Dude, man, I, I came through that door on that my was... little motor scooter sparrow and boom can you can you set up i'm really bad with names and can you set up the mission do you know do you remember the, the location of the mission it was on earth hold on real quick i always i always have this like wicked fear that i like not recording all right go ahead it's the, the red light's on yeah but what is that mean? you don't trust it you don't trust it that's fair. I thought it was. Yeah, no, you're good. Always, okay. I always do that. So this, I think this was during the beta. So it wasn't even really the live oh, game. Yeah. So this I, is I Destiny One. Destiny One. Destiny One. Yeah. Back in the day, great game. Uh, me, you, Silvati. Yes. And uh, so it's we get to the boss, and it's a servitor. Yes. And yes. I can't. Sephix <laughs> Prime. Sephix Prime. Okay. Yes. And so you guys have already played for a couple days, and yeah. I'm late to the party, as usual. Life gets in the way, but it doesn't get in the way. It's a balance. So yes. I, I sometimes go, hey, you know what? I'm going to spend family time today. I'll catch the game up yeah. tomorrow, okay? But part of me is like, I just want to go play. It's new. My buddies are out there. Can I go outside and play Can I go today? play? <laughs> Can I go play? I did so all my I'm, chores, please. I finally get a chance to go play. You guys are the pros two days into the beta. Oh, yeah. We're legends. You're legends at this point. We played it like a hundred times. Yeah. And so I'm on the Sparrow, which is kind of like... Yeah. Like a jet ski that floats. Perfect. Yeah. And so I come around, and this servitor has this <laughs> big blast. He's just shooting. I don't know if y'all were out there first or if I thought I was going to go all Leroy Jenkins on this dude. So yeah. I come around the corner... On my sparrow through a doorway. It was exactly Leroy Jenkins. We were waiting totally, to yeah. fight this thing, and then you're right. like, "Yeah, let's do it." Y'all opened the door, but you never went out there. On my YouTube page, you'll still see this video. It's still there. It's, it's pretty great. funny, man. It's awesome. Um, but so I come around the corner on my sparrow. And I don't see anything, but I just explode. Boom, man, dude. That was so it was funny. Great. I, I love those errors. And that laughter of just pure, that was dumb. Man. And then I got to revive because it's a video game. I'm not like, really <laughs> that's the best part about it. Man, before I think about like just playing with all the different people, like the people that let the game affect them so much yeah. where they go in that rage. Before yeah. Jesus, dude, I was one of those fools. I was freaking out. And for the most part, unless not like on multiplayer or yeah. like someone beats me, I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe it. Like that always just fascinates me how yeah. people just lose their mind, throw the controller, $60 controller, bust it open yeah. on the ground. Plus the TV, Gosh. if they throw it through the TV, I don't know what that cost combo is, but it's never good. Or like even when you, back when, can we please keep it down on your... Man, I sounded really hillbilly just now. Okay. Thank you. I got my boots on. I'll go talk to him. <laughs> I remember back in like the Nintendo, Sega, PlayStation 1 days where the cord oh, was yeah, attached. Oh, yeah, the Yeah. And like, oh, yank the, yank the controller out. jack up the console and the cord. It, yeah. Man, something I want to talk about is um, it's at this point, um, man, I don't even know if I can talk about it. But like... I, it's your show. You can talk about whatever you want to. I really want... When I first joined Elite Christians... Yeah. Man, I I know that people are busy, and I know that, like... I, I, I wish that, that I could, like, put some kind of re, revital in that page. Like, yeah. I, I left it. Like, I, I just got so tired of, like, no one saying anything or... Yeah. And, it, and it's not like, oh, pay attention to me, but it's like, man, I want to, man, I'm trying to pull, like, pull these brothers back together and, like, get yeah. to know people. I don't know, man. That's just, that's kind of, even, like, in, on different various things, yeah. I'm like, man, come on, you know? Like, I almost do that with, with this channel sometimes. I, I hope I don't feel like I'm, like, begging people. Like, comment, please. I want to, but it's not, like, 
so I could get a shiny new comment and write to them, but to really build some platform where like, no, this is a safe place. You can talk about what you want. I love everybody. You know, if you don't, if you don't agree with me or let's talk about things. And, and that's really a, another reason why I started this podcast is to talk about stuff that, you know, maybe it's taboo or people get mad at, but like, I think the ultimate goal from I'm, I'm rambling now, ramble on brother. I, I just want a safe place for people to come and talk and not be censored or kicked off a platform. That's really been bugging me yeah. like the last couple of weeks. I, I know I just talked about like elite Christians inactivity and then like I'm, I'm ro- roping all around to the YouTube channel, but I don't know. Like, I don't know. What, what do you think about that? About what can, I, can I, we do anything for the, the page to like, look, dude, well, come I mean, on. There, there's, there's two different dynamics here. You, you have one of the beautiful things about elite Christians is it's meant for brothers to come together but to be free to be who they are and where they are. Mm-hmm. And to try and formulate something artificial is not going to yield organic results. So if we want to try and force something to be, we'll be something we don't want to be where we're not meant to be. Oof, man. And your YouTube channel... I'm so convicted. I know, that's okay. I, I lived through conviction. Um, and sometimes I ignore it too. So that's not a fun <laughs> thing. I don't recommend doing that. I had a moment that, of weakness. But, yeah. Um, you want something so bad. And, but you, know. you, you asking for comments is organic. Because if you don't get feedback from people who are watching this super awesome podcast, and I hope that you're watching the YouTube channel right now, the podcast yeah. is audio only. I can't even... Spotify, if they could give like a comment section, that'd be great. Dude, I got approved to go on iTunes. Like I just got the email today. I know that's random. I, I'm so excited. That anyway. doesn't answer my Spotify. I'm sorry. Thing. I just I just got the email. Does I rock some Spotify? That's how I, I love roll. Spotify. Um, I don't think iTunes will ask comments either, do they? I've not really used their podcast much, but the comments are the big part. So that may only be YouTube. So that's one communique that you can use for comments. But I I, just, I love the chat because you're you're not coming in and giving a dialogue of this is what it is and so there. You're trying to engage people, and that's what I love about it. I you I know mean, I'm sitting here watching all these other poor choices and just screaming yeah. in the back of my mind. That's like, pretty... ah, no, you, you missed the one obvious. There's like a million memes. That's why he's the man. He's going to win. But. Oh, I have. Okay, go ahead. Go gathering ahead. that organic thing of being who you are is so crucial. And that's why for these people that go out and bike, more power to you. My, my oldest brother, I'm one of four boys. I'm number three in a ranking order. So I've got one younger that I can kind of, I'm going to boss you around. He's taller than me now, so I can't really boss him too much. Yeah, so the four. One, yeah. two, three. That's me. Right I'm there. trying to think of the fourth one. Uh, so you've got Febtober Tooth. What? Is that his yeah, username? That's his, that's his game time. I'm going to give back to the game. <laughs> uh, he's the oldest. He Say is that again? Febtober Tooth. That's amazing. And it's completely meant to be contradictory. Like it. it's, it's, it's hilarious. And then we've got uh, Padawan Knight. That's number two. Poe Dragon Warrior. And then Mr. Bellagio. Kind of like the Hotel de Bellagio. Yeah. Um, so that that's my true brothers of yeah. blood. Yeah. And we've we're we're great. So we're we're spread all over the country. Um, where is that going with all this? Man, I don't I'm, know. I'm getting blessed by you right now. I, like, I know. I, I was talking about, talking about your communication game. and oh, oh I first rambled on about yeah. how I wish the group was how it used to be. Got it. And then I rambled on talking about the channel and I, I so I had like two thoughts and they intertwine I yeah. want I, w- I wish that that group was more active but you can't force it right and then I I just asked for comments to to have everybody so being organic and being who you are yeah so my oldest brother Febtober tooth he is big into physical activity he runs he's a soccer referee travels across the nation uh, he bicycles they live up in the Northwest so is that he JJ got, Shh. Abrams. <laughs> yeah. Free. <laughs> no, you're good, man. Um, I hate that guy now. Yeah. No, so he, and they go out on the on the ski slopes. I mean, it's like, so they're out in nature doing stuff. And I respect that. I love, yeah. That's who they are. Uh, they are being who God made them to be. My other brother, he's, he's a computer developer, software web developer, not a computer developer. But they, they're not out as much. So he does a lot of stuff online. He enjoys kind of watching different Twitch stuff. 
He streams on Twitch. He mods on Twitch. It's cool. My my little brother wow. over on the East Coast, he's a pastor at a church, and he's got a young family, so he's constantly busy with different church stuff. And I'm I'm a software guy. I, I, I'm in a blended family. My wife used to be a flight attendant, which, man, when she was on three-day trips, I loved it because kind of the point, <laughs> I put my, my little guys in bed. They were two and four, five and three now. I mean, you put them in bed. Eight o'clock at night, I'm not going to go back on my computer or phone to do work at night most nights because I've got to kind of have some me time. I, I work a very demanding job during the day. I absolutely love it. Um, so what I do? I go online and play video games. When my wife's home, I don't play video games. I spend time with the family. And yeah. my kids are in bed while I'm playing video games, so I do, I'm hoping they're asleep, so I don't have to worry about that. But it's finding that right balance on everything. But the big thing, go back to being who you are, is like, respecting people for who they are and where they are and who they've become because of where they've been is probably the best advice I can give anybody. Respecting someone for who they are and where they've been does not mean you agree with who, what, or how. Your long hair. I had long hair when I was younger too, so don't go anywhere on this. <laughs> Dude, year. I have what to I'm saying, hate this. You, go ahead. I mean... You have your hair because of your personal drive and desire to have your hair. I have my hair because of my personal drive and desires. I don't come in and go, he's got long hair. He's just one of those kids. No. It's, I mean, what I'm getting at is, I have learned, and I, I, I'm not perfect on it. I definitely cast judgments and different things, and I have to deal with the Lord on that. But finding people for who they are and what they want to be, and back to your point, it's like, you would come to us and say, I need advice. Yeah. I need direction. You know, I'm praying to God all day long and you know, you're we work out our salvation day to day. Golly, yeah. And we're thankful for those apostles and those teachers and those mentors that we've had along the path to come to us and say, Josh, you've done something stupid. Here's what the Bible says about it, and here's what should be going on. I had the best pastor in Atlanta for sixteen years. Love him to death. And on many occasions, he told me, you're doing great. Usually on more occasions, he came and said, whoa, we need to talk about this. And he was willing to confront things because he wanted me to be who I was supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Not come in and shape me and shift me into his little person, but he pointed me to the Bible. Yeah, most definitely. Being me through that. So... Respecting people for who they are and where they are is a big part of it. And that's why, you know, the thing, I love gaming because that's who I am. And I'm not going to cast judgment on somebody who loves gaming and spends their free time on that. And you talked about people who ruin their lives on that. I mean, we can pick an item and go down the list. Okay? Is it somebody who ruined their lives on drugs, on alcohol, on adultery? Mm. Pick something. You can ruin your life and your family on anything. On food. On your job. On food. Yeah. Motorcycles. I see some crazy, stupid stuff on the internet. It's kind of cool watching some of it, but <laughs> I'll try this. At the home. GoPro helmets. But yeah. man, when they pass, man, yeah. oh man! So uh, but, I won't say nothing else about that. Yeah, but I mean, we all have to live in balance. Uh, but I mean, it's finding that right balance of doing those things you love, which for me and and you are video games. And man, I've I've loved keeping up with you. I, it, like I said before, it built a brotherhood. I We moved over the country a few times. I was driving from Denver, Colorado, to Orlando, Florida, and having to drive my U-Haul cross-country. One of my buddies lived in Tennessee. Hey, man, I'm driving through anyway. I can stay at your house tonight. The guy I play video games with. Wow, dude. That I've known for years. And, you know, it's kind of a, it's kind of a weird thing picking up the phone. But you build a level of relationship, Man. and he was willing to be vulnerable enough to say, yeah, come grab my couch. A couch was all I needed. I yeah. just needed to hit, hit my head on a pillow for six hours, use a shower at a restroom, and I hit the road driving the truck the rest of the way. So it's, it's awesome finding those relationships you build. And I've got people all over the country. It, whenever they come into town, I try to catch up with them whenever I can, and I travel for work, so I'm over the country at different areas a lot. Hey, who lives in this town? Anybody in our community? Hey, you want to meet up? Go grab some food. Just like I did 2013 with you here in, in the Dallas area. It was great to meet people yeah. more than just behind a headset. 
But there's plenty of guys that I've never met in person. We're friends on Facebook, on Twitter, we text. But building those relationships are huge because it doesn't have to be just video games. It wasn't for you. It's not for me. That's just the platform of connection to allow for something deeper and broader. And when you balance it out right, whatever your hobby is, go to town, do it. You said something earlier about like um, judging people and something that I haven't really, I, we touched on it. Well, I touched on it with uh, Joel last mm -hmm. um, episode. Man, um, that was impactful too. He had a lot of really awesome stuff. Yeah, in that session that was intense. That was a lot of um, stuff I didn't know. And even you today, I didn't know you were a youth pastor. Yeah, um, I didn't know about you know 2011, all the 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 stuff that went down. That's man, that's crazy. Um, but what I'm touching on is golly, man. Like as far as like everything that's going on, like with elections and just the current. Um, political climate or whatever into sub note 2016 i was one of those people freaking out i don't know what's going on oh my mm -hmm. gosh what do i believe who do i do i'm never gonna do that again yeah bottom line my faith is in god he's the he's the baller he's gonna take care no matter you know who if whoever wins to 2020 whatever but besides the fact and i was talking about like censorship and people freaking out on each other. I, I cannot believe like the level of, I don't know what the word is, of craziness that's going on mm -hmm. with social media and the left versus the right and the, the division. I, it just seems like it's, it's rising higher and higher where, you know, I just met up with a friend that I went to acting school with mm -hmm. and I haven't talked to him in... Uh, man, almost eight years or I don't know, five years. And the first thing he said was like, dude, I support this person. Like, I'm like it was like, hey, how are you? Oh my gosh, I haven't seen in a while. And like the next thing he said was he told me who he supported. I'm like, that's cool. I don't care. I mean, okay, me too, I guess. Um, but like, it was just like, man, I haven't talked to this guy in years. And like, that was the first thing he said right off the bat. It was like, wait a minute, this is my... Like almost like my team, like I, I root for this team. Yeah, and I, that just really stood. I, it really shocked me. It can sometimes, and I don't know the guy. I don't know the heart. Sometimes those statements can come across as drawing a line in the sand. Like, are you with me or against me? And I hate that. Yeah, and and, I, and pardon my you know biblical memory, but I believe it was Joshua who saw the angel and said. Are you with us or against us? And he goes, I am, a, I am on the side of the Lord. Yeah. Commonly as humans, we sit here and go, are you for me or against me? Dude, I'm going to start saying that. As opposed to, is this the Lord or is this me? A lot of times you got to evaluate that. So I think it's just some human nature, and it could just be our flesh side that says, are you with me or against me? And that could have been that statement that was coming from this person. Again, no clue who it is. But... I mean, the only real area I'm going to do that is, are, are you a PlayStation guy or an Xbox guy? <laughs> I mean, we all know where God's blessing is. But no. Um, <laughs> Sega Saturn. Yeah. Exactly. Go back to the day. It was my Genesis. Oh, my gosh. You have to go to the beginning for that one, though. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to like it, but You I, can't not like that one, dude. Like, I'm like... See, here's the I beauty like is, it. you know, dad jokes... Are the best. Not all of them. Hey, I'm sorry. That's what makes you guys, the best, though. Real quick, I know I'm like squeaking my chair back and forth. I'm yeah, sorry. we're gonna do W. Oh we're gonna retake the whole thing here in a minute. We, oh we're god, use some WD oh my, forty. Man, please. I, got, I keep that in the car. I might have to use that on this plastic. I'm sure that'll work. <laughs> yeah, it'll melt it. I'm like moving. I'm like, man, I bet they hate me because of that. Sorry. I need to like. I want to get some of those like actual mics, like headphones, mics, mixer, all that stuff. But little, doo -doo -doo -doo. yeah, it's lapel. Lapels, yeah. Like, because so, it's weird, like, sitting like this. I mean, it'd be better, but that's weird. We need, like, a table. I'm not going to have a divider. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I appreciate your pillow. And I, I did make sure I took notes. I did not wear my shorts. <clears throat> <laughs> like I heard and saw one of your other guests might have worn. Was you offended by that? 
I don't get offended by much, man. I know. I would, but I don't blame you for the pillow cover up there. Either. Yeah, so yeah so I had to leave that pillow here. there the whole time. We have our space. You've got your chair and your armrest. I've got mine. We're good. We got our legs to kind of block if we got to. Like these podcasts are just so awkward to to like, like the way like we don't. If if this was not here, we would. If this the camera and the mic was not here, we wouldn't be sitting like this. It's just, but that's you know further down the line, I guess. When you get your own little coffee shop that you can put your own home brew on, you can sit there and have a cup of joe. Dude. Or you just, I mean, it doesn't have to be where you can just kind of like make one in a corner. Yeah. Put your wall. It's like made of Legos or something. Yeah, I don't care what you make it of, man. Make it out of a spindle. One of the big cave spindles. So what games are you playing right now? Right, I'm on. I, I'm at, I just want to get, I, I'm thinking about just getting the game back just so I can play with you guys. I am playing. Even though I have no time to play know, anything. Clash of Clans on my phone. Oh my gosh. I, you're back with us, I, so don't hide. Don't deny it. I downloaded. You're there. I love it. Let me get my elixir. And I've been off for two elixir. years. Yeah. But that's, that's maybe the only game. I'm dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I don't have the sound on. That's okay. Shelly hates. I mean, okay, that's like the only game that maybe I do have a problem with. And that's why I delete it. Like every couple months, I'll delete it. I'm Look, like, I'm not freaking letting this game take over my life. That's the biggest part right there. I got to check my elixir. Now, if, if my wife is going to watch this at some point, she may comment below. <laughs> I'm going to ask him to delete it. I might be addicted to some Clash of Clans. Okay. Okay. Just pray for us. I mean, we, we're... Everybody. I mean, we've got a big full clan of it, too. That's a bunch of... Okay. Yeah. Uh, so we that's some new play? members in that, there, too. That's my mobile game. Uh, oh, I'm gonna put my phone. Yeah, yeah. No, check we, it, No attacks yet. We don't have a clan. We're going on. You're good. We need to have one regularly. It's coming up soon. We got clan games starting. I think tonight, maybe tomorrow morning. Soon. So we're gonna have some clan games. Make sure you max out your points. That's my advice as your clan leader. Oh, man, I was a leader and I gave it up because I went on hiatus. Hey, That's okay. Is there like a like a read program well, where I can come? No, back? you're you're blacklisted right now. Oh, because um, <laughs> I leave every three months. <laughs> No, but anyway, but I mean that—that's a discipline in and of itself. I've had to give up games. I've had to give up different things. The Lord calls us to fast and different even like ways. food. Like man, yeah. the, having this job just sitting at this computer. Oh yeah, gosh, man. Yeah. I used to work at this grocery store just running all the time, and now I got this job and I gain like fifteen, tw not twenty. Oh my God, like fifteen, ten pounds. Like it really, I have to work out just to look normal. And if I want to look below normal, I have to do intermittent fasting. Yeah. Like no eating after two, man. And then a donut comes my way, and I just oh, like hallelujah. Crumble. No. What? Sometimes like self control in that area on weekend, man. I've got self control. I will control that donut from my hand all the way to my mouth. Every bite, not a crumb loss. You're not helping me. I'll eat your donut. Now wait a minute. <laughs> I don't know about that, man. Yeah, so the games I play. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Call of Duty. Gosh, is it good? Black Ops I haven't, 4. I haven't played it. It is. I played the Battle Royale mode, man. Blackout. Because you know, we played Fortnite together. And by like played together is kind of like a rough interpretation of what I did. That was maybe the only time I got mad at you. It's like, will you freaking build a wall, please? Yeah, I built one. Between you and me, apparently. <laughs> I'm like, you need and a I freaking apologize. build a ramp. Just build a ramp so you can walk up the ramp and shoot over the ramp. You're just being pegged by the guy in the third twin yeah. tower. Well, dude built like Trump Tower over there with a pair of sticks. In 15 seconds, that's not a video game. I, to all of you Fortnite lovers out there, controversy alert right here. It's a horrible game. I hated it. I'm sorry. <sighs> My son loves it. It's so hard to play. My brother loves it. Little brother. Who's Mr. your little Bellagio. brother? You oh. played with Mr. Bellagio. Oh, I didn't think he loved it. I thought well, he just uh, played Loved it, it is a different interpretation. He learned to build. He and I do have to apologize to you because I promised you I'd learn to build. You're if supposed you did to be something, a teammate. I don't even remember, remember what the condition was. And you, Was it uh, the, 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 the game with the soccer ball and the little cars? What's um, that game? Um, uh, uh, Rocket League? Rocket League. I think I made a condition on you that if you get that game and we play it, I'll learn to build. So I have to fess up. I am sorry. I I, I lied. I won't you learn to build. You did lie. I won't I won't learn to build. Thank I apologize, but will you forgive me, brother? Man, did you ever play it? No. But will you forgive me? I guess, yes. Okay, theoretic. We'll take the theory. Okay. So what was your question? Did you play Apex? Yeah, like twice. You didn't like it either? Nah. Why? There's no building there. Yeah. 
Why did you not like it? It, it felt clunky. It felt. Dude. I, I'm not a big fan of those super comic looking games. Destiny is an alien game. I get it. You're not human, but it doesn't have that feel of the comics. It, 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 and it's hard to explain. It just, I just didn't like it. It's I, clunky. I mean, Borderlands is the only game yeah, that's kind of got like, that co the comic book feel. I played that. Man, I felt but, like um, the, the mechanics just, and it may just be because I'm so used to Destiny and Call of Duty, the mechanics of it, I didn't feel like adapting and learning it. Because I don't have a whole lot of time for games. Yeah, so yeah, I usually yeah. have one or two games I play on the console and my Clash of Clans. My son's asking me to join Clash Royale all the time. I'm like, no. Oh, man. I, I had no, to, I, I had played to it do. for a couple months. And yeah. I'm like, I'm done. It's because really awesome. It is. It, but if I'm going to commit my time to something, I want it to be something that I enjoy and that I can invest in when I'm able to. Clash of Clans, man, I do that. I, I'm on there routinely. I try to not let it interfere. Don't ask my wife. She might say, don't turn it on. No, I was going to say, even on Clash of Clans, though, there's been, man, several times where people were like, hey, man, keep me in your prayers. I, I'm going, I'm, yeah. I'm like, dude, I'm praying for you right now. And when I say that, if I ever say, I'm praying for you right now, I literally, every time I stop, I'm like, God, in the name of Jesus. Reminders. Group. Come on. Okay. Oh my Siri, God. we didn't ask that you. That was so it's a powerful moment that was ruined by yep. you. And I literally will stop and pray, God. Right now, I don't know what they're going through, but you know what they're going through, and I thank you that you protect them. I thank you for financial yeah. blessing. Amen. Or whatever. Yeah. And, and like, there's been several times I'm like, look, dude, please pray for me because I believe in the power of prayer. And yeah. And we oh. pray. We believe in it too. It's Man. not just a game, it's, it's, you know, it's a brotherhood. It's a place for brothers in Christ and sisters in Christ to come together, commune and fellowship, and break digital bread. Man. <laughs> Because I'm going to have me some chips and salsa if I've got to sitting there playing my game. Gosh, man. I really want to get... Uh, I almost Chili's want... Chili's does have good chips Dude, and salsa, Dude, no, too, they man. don't, man. No. I mean, they're, I mean, they're not like classic best, but like, man, I can have go Have you ever been to Texas Day Brazil? Tejas de Brazil? Yes. Yeah. Dude, that but, place dude, that's is not the best. Chips and salsa, though. That's like I, meat more than a comatose steak. Dude, That has nothing on Thanksgiving restaurant. when it comes to taking a nap. I don't care about that. No, that's great. I, I'm not denying. Dude, that okay. I just yeah. got really excited. That's like the best that, steak the, restaurant ever. It, it's pretty classic. Better than Roadhouse or. Well, that doesn't take much more than a Chick Fil A to get better than Roadhouse. <laughs> Sorry for your marketing department, but I'm not a big fan. Yeah. I'm not going to judge you either. Some people do love Roadhouse. Their Man, bread is pretty good, and the peanuts at the table are cool. That is cool. You could throw yeah. them on the ground. Yeah. Side note: One time, this dude came to my house. Super. Uh, Unpleasant gentleman. Mm, yeah. Um, very uh, country person. I'm trying to be very nice here. Not a big fan of this guy. He came to my house. He's talking to my dad. I was like a senior in high school or something. I keep wisping my hair behind my That's, ear. I keep doing my glasses. Go back and count it. Yeah, we and I keep a, looking at we this. We tally for that, yeah. This dude was eating peanuts at my kitchen table and throwing the, the shells on. Like, like Roadhouse, but no. in my kitchen table. And I'm, no. I'm in the living room, and I'm looking. I'm like, holy crap, this dude's throwing peanut shells on the floor no. in my kitchen, in my house. A little respect. And the guy like, all right, man, I'll get out of I'll say like. And I'm like, dad, holy crap, look. I pointed, and he's like, hey, man, what's going on here? Oh, ha, 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 ha. I don't know. I yeah. thought of that story of the peanuts. But they're well, good what peanuts. a freaking hell yeah, that's Oh, my not gosh. Cool. Not cool. Who does that? Fucking spin in the tin can or something that's out there? Hopefully, at least he swept that up, too. In my rambling state, yeah, man, I, I kind of want to try to join like the 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 Facebook page again, yeah. and like, hey, maybe do a Facebook live or something. Like, hey guys, totally. I love you guys. And I keep leaving and going and leaving and going, but I just really want to take you when your season shows up. Yeah, that's... I mean, avocados are in and out of season. Strawberries are in and out of season. Joshua Cassidy can be in and out of season. And yeah, we're okay with that. I'm like a baseball season. Like when I come, I mean, it's like, like oh, yeah. it's, it's like, would y'all do that? It's like, yeah, it's yeah, Joshua yeah, 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 we'll do that. <laughs> yeah. So I work with a lot of Brazilians here. Do you know they eat avocados like a dessert? I can buy that. Why? Have you, now, now here's here's the thing that gets me. Forget, I'm, I'm jumping way off the avocado yeah, for a second. Yeah, this here. is how the podcast. Uh, I just ramble. So one of my offices that we have location down in Uruguay. Are you good right now? 
seven. Yeah, we got some time. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, I just want to make sure. Um, trust me, I've got my uh, oh, electronic yeah. device on here too. So if I've got to get up and run, I'm like, your wife alert. Ah, just kidding. <laughs> we all <No>. got one. <laughs> no apology. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> just kidding. So, so I am a good Southern gentleman. I was raised on you have breakfast around seven o'clock in the morning, you eat lunch around twelve, and you have dinner around six. Okay. There are three staple meals around it. It was work now. I'm you know pushing to six thirty-seven. Yeah. Depending on when I get home with the kids and get fit dinner. So I'm down in Uruguay. What'd you call me? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Today and every other day. Uruguay. Uruguay. And I'm on business for a week down there. So I get back to my hotel. After being in the office, probably about six o'clock, and you know, I'm like, I've had a big long day. I'm ready to eat. I go down to the front desk. Where is a good spot to go eat dinner close by that I can walk to? Because I didn't have a car. Yeah. And this is back before the days of Uber. <laughs> Great app, by the way, for anybody traveling around the world. Lyft as well, too. Check both of them. Not my product. But, um, so they're like, oh, there's plenty of places to eat. What time do you want to go? And I'm like, six o'clock, I'm ready to go. I'm hungry right now. They're like, oh, well, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? So I learned quickly, and this may not be all of South America, but there are parts of South America where their culture is they don't eat dinner until like 10 o'clock at night. They, that, that was my yes. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. For real, 10 o'clock yeah, at night? 2200. Or like 8. No, 10 o'clock. Most places for early dinner don't open up till 8. Holy crap. Dude, I was baffled. That's awful. It did not work out well for my my schedule at all. So luckily enough, I did find a good German spot down in Uruguay and had the best pork chop of my life. That thing was amazing. Wow. And I don't know if it was just because I was starving and there was nowhere else open. Probably. It's probably like a dog leg or something. Could have been. Um, but it was amazing. So yeah, so you know, if, if you work with a bunch of Brazilians, if if they are uh, not, if they're a Brazilian Americans where they've got heritage from Brazil yet they've been raised in America and they don't really know the culture, or if they truly have come and migrated from Brazil, talk to them about that. Say, hey, what's the normal culture for when you would have dinner in Brazil? I will just ask find that. out. That's crazy. And now you won't have the completely cross-eyed look because I gave you a heads up. Dude, I want to travel the world so bad. I only, I only went to New York. and I mean, that's like a whole other world. It is. I've been there a few times. I, man, that place. I went back recently. <laughs> yeah. and It was okay. But when I lived there, I hated it. Could not stand it. When I first got my hair cut, it was kind of, I'm like, man, because I was keeping it high and tight, pretty mm -hmm. neat. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to get a haircut. Um, I went to this one place. Three haircut stories in one. Oh, this is three haircut stories in one. <laughs> First time I went, I'm going, I'm walking, I'm going, I'm walking. I hear techno music, <laughs> bubbles everywhere, um, homosexuals everywhere, abundant, like everywhere. I'm like, okay, what's going on? Like, like you, they're, they're all right there, like, uh, like it's a barricade. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what the heck? All of a sudden, this float comes by with these dudes in white underwear, tidy whitey, shooting water guns. <laughs> at people throwing condoms in my face. Oh, what the crap is this? And Gay Pride Day. I'm like, okay. So I had to fight through that parade like 30 minutes to get to my haircut place. I get to the haircut place, closed, Gay Pride Day. I'm like, golly, man, it's my haircut. So then I had to go back the next week. I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna walk in the first place I go into. I walk in the first haircut place. This lady cut my hair for 40 minutes. Rub my shoulders, asking if I wanted to drink anything. I'm like, no, I cut my hair for 40 minutes. I go to swipe my card. Hundred dollars! Oh! I almost, I don't know how I paid that bill. I don't know how, it was terrible. So a couple months later, time to get a haircut in the sweet state of New York, baby. We're all dreams, okay. I'm all mad. I, yeah, I'm feeling so, this. I, bitterness and rage come forth. Third haircut story. I'm like, I just want a freaking haircut that's like cheap. I, I go in and I swear it was the Russian mob that cut my hair. That's this awesome. dude, I'm like, hey, how much is this? $20. I can't do a Russian accent. No. He's smoking a cigar, cutting my hair when the wife beat her. 
Um, <laughs> this dude comes out of the bathroom in a suit. He sits down and reads a paper. I'm like, am I in a Martin Scorsese movie? What is this? Terrified. <laughs> terrified. <laughs> He's cutting my hair. He's like, what your hair neck trimmed? I'm like, oh. Sure. No man. razors close yeah, to the neck, man. please. I'm I was terrified. Today. I gave him like... I don't know how much I had like forty bucks and like he whips out this stack of cash and like it's like hundreds and gives me the change and I'm like oh you just keep the change mister it was terrible <laughs> still cheaper than that last cut yeah most definitely so that's why I'm like in every time I get my hair cut I swear something happens so I'm like you know what I could go I'm not gonna cut my hair I'm, I know those are, that that story was like ten years ago but like something happens all the time. Okay, maybe I should please I got pray good, for me. I got a good barber in Southlake. Okay. Yeah, just just hit me up. Yeah, I don't. They're, it, they're great. Then I went to this weird stage where I just shaving my head, and I looked like I was in a clay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was awful. I'd say we've all been there, but we haven't. Yeah, none of us have. <laughs> I feel like I need to write notes in that, like, hey, look, we're not in a clan. You know, uh, we love everybody. We'll, we'll put that in the, the annotations, the comments, the description. We'll, yeah. we'll get all that. I love the Russians. We're I not love... in the clan. We're in a Christian gaming yeah. clan. I yeah, I don't hate New York yeah. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I really did hate that place. There's bombs everywhere. Like, like, like everywhere. One dude came to, um, a, a guy that came from Nigeria or somewhere, I don't know. He came here at Christ for the Nations and uh, I was speaking to him and he was like, man, your homeless people are fat. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, you're, 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 you're poor, you're, your homeless people are fat. I'm like, crap, they are, aren't they? He's like, where I'm from, you know, um, they're dying. That's when you know they're poor. They just shot, I'm like, dang, man. Yeah. I used to have such like, a heart for the homeless. Not to say that everybody that's homeless is, you know, taking advantage of. But I went down and I'm. I went down with the church to like feed the poor. I'm like, yeah, man, let's do it. Yeah, dude, I went down there under the bridge. This is like three years ago, and man, I went to each tent with food and like I opened up their tent and their tent is baller. Like picture frames on a tent. How do you do that? I don't know. Lamp. I've not figured that out. I can barely get a tent set up. A tiny dresser with a lamp. Like, so I'm like, dude, I can sleep in this sucker. It's sweet looking. Yeah. And I'm like, hey, you know, can I? Yeah, put the put the food over there. The, I'm like, put it in the fridge. Wait, what? <laughs> you what? <laughs> I, I'm projecting as if I was there. I was feeling the story. Dude, yeah. Like, Maybe like, embellish it a little bit. Oh, crap, a flat screen TV. Oh, an Xbox. Oh, what you, yeah. What's your game? What's your gamer tag? Yeah, I swear. I'm like, what? And I was talking to him, praying for him. Like, can I pray for you? Yeah, pray for me. And then after like 10 minutes, I'm like, why are you here? I'm like, I just, why not? I don't have to do anything. I get, um, I get, I get money. I get food. I get, I mean, I, I don't have to deal with my family. I'm, I'm chilling. I'm like, so could you go back to your family? And I'm like, yeah, I go, I could go back. I don't want to. Man, I went and talked to several groups down there, and they were content. Like, yes, some people have heart troubles, and yeah. crap happens, and they're under a bridge, and they're trying to fight to get themselves out. But, man, that totally changed my... I, yeah. I cannot... Plus, I watch... I, like, binge watch, like, um, Drugs, Inc. Have you ever seen that? Dude, Drugs, Inc., it, you got to watch it. It's amazing. They follow the cop. They follow the... Um, the person that makes the drug and sells the drug. Yeah. And then they follow the person taking the drug like simultaneously. Oh, wow. It's insane. So it's like an episode of not cops, but like, you know, it looks like it's a cop set up with her. The guy's like, oh, yeah, we're going to go down here and check out. This is a high drug area. And then like it cuts and like this dude's in a bandana, like cut it up cocaine or something. Yeah, I've been doing this for 15 years. With that cool voice modulator on there? Yeah. And like, I want to get one of those like, when I'm at work. That would be so awesome. All right, what's going on? I want a sub sandwich with extra cheese on it. <laughs> it, just, it just sounds like a guy from New York or something. Yeah. I'm going to do that on my next conference call. <laughs> so then it follows the user. And it's always some homeless guy like yeah. with on the street trying to get money. Uh, you know, with the sign or whatever. And then they get enough money and they go and they get to the dealer. The thing. And then they're shooting up. I cannot, man. I cannot give money to any any yeah. homeless. 
I, I am not going to say I haven't when felt led. I've, yeah, but, I've done it before. Yeah, I mean, that's the exception to the rule for me. I've, I've bought people food. Yeah. And I've been hustled by a dude at Wendy's. You know? How did you know you was hustled? Well, because he comes up to me and goes, hey, you know, I, I'm, I don't remember if I just came out or it was going in. I don't remember what it was. Um, but he comes and goes, hey, you know, well, my wife and I are out of work. We're hungry. She's pregnant. Duck, duck, duck. Can, you, can you get me some food or something? You need money for food. My dude, I'll go inside, I'll buy you a burger. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we get in line. Yeah. Not a long line. We get in line. Anyway, you can get me some fries. <laughs> okay. I'll get you some fries. Can and have this a is strawberry for, shake. This is for him and his wife. You know, because he, he, he had set up that my wife and I, she's pregnant. Yeah. My, you know, dude, I've, I've, I've not been there as homeless, but I've been there with my all my kids and you know I get there has to be nutrients coming okay so I'm not yeah. going to judge and try and validate a whole story but yeah 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 dude Something. I'll buy you I'll buy you and your wife a burger cool yeah you your fries alright I'll get you fries well can I get a drink dude you're pushing it do you want the burger and fries or no <laughs> and I cut them off it's like if you want if you want some water get some water and I may have been cold but it's like when, when your story starts changing yeah and your ask starts changing you become less credible most times. Can I have two Happy Meals? Look at yeah. your toys. I mean, if he'd have come up to me and said, hey, dude, my wife and I are both out of work. We're on a road, on the streets. She's pregnant. You got money. I mean, if you can buy me a combo meal. Dude, I'd probably bought it for him. Yeah, yeah. But it was, can you get me a burger? Because yeah. I'm sure at Can first. you add fries? Yeah. Do you want a baked potato? <laughs> no, yeah. So what do you got on the dollar menu? Keep it coming. No, but it, I mean, it's just one of those. Like, I am very clear, and I don't like stories that change. Yeah, it's and dealing yeah. with kids. When you get older, you're gonna see stories change. Sometimes as you try to, hey, who threw the deodorant in the toilet and flushed it? Yeah, Him. yeah. The one that came walk. Yeah, <laughs> it was up on the top shelf. Yeah, him. Oh, but he can't. Oh, well, the, some dude came in. Right, what, what dude? I'm the dude. There's no other dude here. Yeah. The, when stories shift, it, it just is a thing with me. Man. Could be a father thing or just a thing. That's like the number one thing that I'm thankful for being a cop is it took me from being very, very naive and gullible to not trusting anybody. Yeah. Not, but, not, but I'm not stupid anymore. There's When I was in New York, man, this guy totally, he got me, man. I got used to just blocking out homeless people like, oh, I don't, I don't see yeah. you. But this one guy, he rolled right up into my grill. like, man, my wife, my kids, I don't know where my daughter's yeah. at. My daughter's gone. I don't know where she's at. She's not... Just gave me this story, and I'm listening to him, and he's crazy. He pushed out a tear. Man, dude, I opened my wallet, um, and I had like 220s, and I was I, I was like, okay, I'm a, I don't know if I believe him or not, but right now, I think I do believe him. And as I'm giving him the 20, like, oh, you got, you got another one there. And I was so stupid, I gave him 40 bucks, and he just walked off. And I, right when yeah. I gave him the money, I'm like, he got me, man. Totally. Yeah. He was like, oh, my, my. I opened my wallet. Oh, there's another one there, man. Yeah, yeah. And I and I was, at that moment, I still gave it to him, though. I'm like, yeah. okay. Fast forward to now. I was a cop for five years. My wife and I just went to, we did this um, Airbnb. Have you ever heard of that? Yeah. Airbnb. Okay, for it's people great. that don't know, I just found this out like two months ago. I never You're heard so about it. The times. Huh? You're I so know. The times. Um, my pastor Derek on the first podcast was like, dude, Airbnb, take your wife, go yeah. rest. So we just did that. Um, man. So we get there at the place and the, there's hair everywhere. Oh, I'm like, dude, this is disgusting. Me and hair don't get along. I can other with people's yeah. hair. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, other people's hair, no, I, I can deal with mine, but. So I'm like, okay, you know, the floor is like not, it looks like she didn't even clean in there. So I took pictures of the the, the bathroom and like, yeah. hey, look, just to let you know, you know, we cleaned it. We even cleaned it. Mm -hmm. We're like, okay, we're going to, we cleaned it. Like, hey, not a big deal. Just to let you know. Because I didn't know if she had like a cleaning lady yeah. or, or someone that took care of the house for her while she did her thing. And so she was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'll come tomorrow and I'll help you. I'm like, no, you don't worry about it. We are cleaning. No big no. deal. The next day, um, she called me. Like, she was supposed to come over, and I don't know what she was supposed mm -hmm. to do. So she called me, and she was like, oh, i got to take my, my mom to the hospital. I'm so worried. i got to – I can't come over. I can't come over. 
And I'm like, okay, you know, don't worry about us. We'll pray for you. We didn't need her at all. Yeah. She gave me the story and I told my wife, let's pray for her and her mom. You know, we pray for her. And I hung up the phone and man, I was like, golly, I don't believe this woman. <laughs> I, I pray yeah. for her. I'm like, I'll give her the benefit of yeah. the doubt. Bless her and her mom. I pray for protection. But man, and I didn't see her for the rest of the weekend. Yeah. So we left and I wrote her a five star review. I said the place was clean. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm saying this now. I want to punch myself in the face. You lied. I lied. I said, I mean, because besides the hair, yeah, it was it was lovely. So I'm like, okay, bless her and her family. She has she's trying to have a little side yeah. hustle. A little, it was a little piece of hair. And there was nothing else wrong with the place except yeah. there was the it was kind of dirty the hair. I wrote her this five star review. I said it was peaceful. It was beautiful. It was clean. It was lovely. And I sent it to her. Man, so she already wrote a review on me, and I guess I couldn't see until I submitted yeah. mine. And oh my gosh, it was like, um, lovely couple took all the, the linen off the bed. I'm like, oh, like, like I took all the, I don't know what that meant, and then said, was very um, meticulous about the apartment being absolutely perfect and clean. Like she worded it like I was some needy. I'm like, dude, dude, I just sent you a picture. There was hair everywhere. Was it a five star review or was it a lower than five star review? Well, my review was five star. Hers on you. Oh, she, I didn't see like a review. I think it was like a, um, like a, I, I, this user said this or something. Because you may have just turned that into a negative thing where it could have been a compliment. Because by you taking the linens off the bed, assumably you were doing her a favor because hopefully she's washing the sheets after you leave. You know what, dude? It could have been a compliment, dude. Maybe. Now you're railing her in an unedited video on the interwebs. I'm not in a, editing any of this. I know. But the last comment made me think the second comment was bad by saying yeah. very... Um, Meticulous. I, that I gotta, could be a comment. How is that a or, comment? Or a compliment. I got to read... Because if you go to a detail shop, do you want the guy that's meticulous to make sure your car is detailed perfectly? Or do you want the dude like, yeah, I cleaned it. Which one do you want to do your job? You're still trying to find here. I found it. I did. Okay. Howdy. Wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm confused. Very. Okay. Respectful couple. Took linen off the bedding. Very concerned about home being in absolutely spotless new condition. So when I read that, I was like, what the Respectful heck? Respectful was where it started with. Yeah, but you know the sandwich technique where you say something good, then you say something bad, but then she said something bad? So it's the bad thing, the linens off the bedding, or is there's nothing good on the back in there? I you didn't know. sandwich logic. Mainly, I don't trust anybody, except but you. That's fair. I appreciate that. That was I a long you. super story. Did I say, what did I say? Super story? Yeah, super story. It was a super story. I trust you. I don't even know. Except for with Fortnite now. I, we know well, I'm never going to trust you with Fortnite yeah. ever again. Fine. You can come to Blackout on Call of Duty Black Ops 4. So you like that? Dude, man, I love that. That's where it's at. So why do you like that? Because I don't have to hide behind something I build. There's a building, I run into oh, it, and I'm there. God. I'm out in the open ground with another dude in the open ground. He's not building nothing. There's a rock, a tree, or nothing, and it's a game on. Who do you play with on there? Uh, retired SSC, Novocaine, uh, Make Me Bad. We've got Hua Bath. He he lives up in Oklahoma. He came down to Dallas. He and I went for lunch the other day. Great. We had hot dotty burgers. Good burgers. Hot dotty burgers. Hop dotty burgers. Hop dotty burgers. Yeah, they're over in South Lake. I've Florida. never heard that before. Um, so Nightmare Thirty Four is one of the guys. I'd have to go pull the list, but probably retired SFC. Novocaine and make me bad are the primary guys I'm going to jump in with nowadays. Because it's squads of four, just like Fortnite. Oh. You fly in on a chopper, you jump down, you go loot, you go shoot people. How many Somebody times do you want? Is it super hard to win? It, I mean, the reality is it's not much different than winning at Fortnite. No, 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 no. The, no, listen to me. You take out the element of having to build. So now it's just a gunfight yeah. with cover that pre-exists. Yes. It's more realistic. I know a video game's not realistic. Do you have perks in Black Ops? Yeah, you Black get Ops? perks. You pick up your bandages. You perk up 
pick up your armor, you pick up your weapons, you pick up your weapon attachments. Wait a minute, so there's perks laying around? Yeah. Like slide of Mobility, hand. so you can run fast. Oh! Uh, dead silence, so people can't hear you. Awareness, so you can hear people. Consumer, so you can do your first aid faster. We don't do drugs here. That's not drugs, that's my bandage. Oh, me. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't exist, you can't look at the yeah, camera. No drugs. Bad. I wonder if they hate me sometimes. <laughs> no, I think they're loving it. I'm like, man. I mean, I, I, I'm loving the dynamic of it. This is a really cool thing you're doing. Well, really cool. I'm glad I got to hang out with you. Yeah, totally stoked, man. But I, I, You just need to get blackout. Well, Black is it the new, technique. by the time I get blackout, the new Call of Duty is going to come out? Yeah, I'll I leave played you behind the, then. I played the crap out of the World War II one. Yeah. It just seems like everyone's the same. You know, so newsflash, and not 2019, but the 2020 version. I think it's the 2020 version. Yeah. So uh, Treyarch makes the. Oh, I'm not going to try. They just put out on the interwebs the other day that Sledgehammer Games is no longer going to be primary. I think for the 2020 Call of Duty release because they were having so many in-house issues with the development shop. And I think they accelerated, I think it's Treyarch. I think they accelerated Treyarch to come instead of a three-year cycle. They have the three-year rotation. Yeah, it's, um, I, I don't know the three. Treyarch, Sledgehammer, and oh, I don't know. So comment below. So, um, so one of them was, they're so not. Basically, their development house is having issues getting the game out on time. And the publication system is about to be in a complete mess. Yeah. So they basically are bringing in Treyarch to say, hey, you're going to come deliver this one. These teams are going to help you do it. So I think uh, Sledgehammer Games is going to do the, the mission, and then Treyarch's going to do the multiplayer. I, I don't I don't know what it's going to look like, but they they just change it up. And you know, with the economy, we live, I work in the software industry, and it's one of those things. And that that was good for me to see because it just kind of helps keep me at check with what I do. Is like we have to continue to build the best product out there, or someone else will come in, or my job will be given to another company that can do it. So just for my business life is seeing those things happen in the real world and those announcements. You, you got to perform <laughs> nowadays when it comes to the business world to succeed. Yeah, most times. dude, I'm thinking about starting um, a videographer business. Yeah, do it, dude. <sighs> you got the skills, and we'll also talk about maybe <laughs> doing it, um, maybe looking and, and doing our own Airbnb. If you got the space, like the whole me. business thing, like golly, that, man, that, that's a business model. If you can manage that side of it, that's. I don't want to say easy money. There's really no such thing as easy money except the lottery. I bought a couple of tickets, so dude, if I win, homie, okay, I'll bless you'll you, be bro. my sponsor. I, I don't want to go that far, but I'll, I'll bless you. You heard it here, guys. I'm not in this sucker out. Blessing, blessing of the Lord. Jesus, yep. help him win. God, give him the magic. I will ticket. buy you a super sized combo meal, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get fries? You'll not only get fries. I'll get you a drink. Oh, thank, praise the Lamb. Yep. Oh my gosh, dude! I oh, want to get back into um, to playing with you guys. We're around, man. I mean, that was like what, man, when, so much fun. It is, and, and the reality is, when 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 life makes space for you to do that, come back. We're there. You know, I mean, I'm not still playing the video games you are from like five years ago. But when life throws what you, what 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 game? What, what game are you playing? You don't even know. I'm playing. Well, I, when I do play, it's Apex, and I'm still trying to finish Red Dead Redemption. So I'm not playing Red Dead. I do. I do more. You don't like story games. Huh? I'm not a big story fan. I played uh, Dying Light. That, oh yeah. That, I mean, that was it was cool. It was a nice change of pace because every now and then I just kind of get in a rut and I'm like, oh, I've been playing it for so long. Like I played Destiny One, then I went to Destiny Two, and after it's like, I'm done. Did you I'm like? I heard Destiny. Destiny Two was terrible, but everybody says it was. It good. wasn't terrible. I mean, I enjoyed it. it, it the reality is, I, I'll, I'll hit a rut. I'll hit a groove. I'm gonna push to succeed at what I'm playing to master the craft, and then eventually I make yeah, a new video game. Man, but that, I mean, that's what they're intended for. That, that's There wasn't enough new content. I needed that change of pace. What I did love about Fortnite was that Battle Royale. I just hated building, man. I hated yeah, the building Yeah, it part. does suck. I mean, I also hate dying right off the bat. Yeah, that's And then just too. sitting there like with my homies. They're running around. I'm like, oh, are we going to restart? <laughs> Can you kill yourself? Just in the game. I want to play. Can you revive a teammate on uh, Blackout? Say, I mean, pretty much the same thing as Fortnite. You'll, you'll get knocked. You'll go down on your hands and knees to crawl around, breathe now. Like, yeah. You can be revived. But once they like knock you once you're down, you're dead. you get knocked and then you're dead. Yeah. See, in Apex, if mm -hmm. they if you're down, they shoot you, you take your little Right. You can be revived, like, you know, dude. Reincarnation. Maybe you I should try Apex saying. again. 
It's fun, man. Like Fortnite, okay. But Apex, I mean, if you could just get past what it looks like. Let's do bit, this. They have the little um, Let's do abilities. Call of Duty 19 release. 19 or 20? Well, it's 2019. It'll come out this fall. I don't like your tone. <laughs> My tone is very calming. Yes, it's very calming. I almost said something very that calming. I might have had to edit it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep this PG. 2019 Call of Duty release. Let's check it out. I don't know what's going to be in it. Golly, probably the same yeah. thing has been in it forever. What? People shooting each other? Yeah, but it's just... Respawn. Death. Respawn. Death. Respawn. Death. I mean, I get frustrated at times, too. But it's the Brotherhood. It's the Brotherhood. <sighs> yes. But if it's not the right time, man, I'm not going to force you. No, I... I I'm do my thing. What you was the thing. Call of Duty? Which one was it? it? It wasn't Ghost. It was the one before that where they had, like, these... Um, like almost like clan wars of, of cl like clash of clans have clan it was almost like ghost really introduced the clan wars that's really where the clan wars started coming was in it ghost Poland. like there was a map it was yeah. like america south america well johnny blaze posted that the other day and i'm 99 percent sure that was call of duty ghost i love that that was cool that was really i don't cool remember them time. doing that since uh, they've not done it since like you had to like get on and and um, like complete a challenge yeah. or something like okay, yeah. uh, uh, this one's team deathmatch or this one's uh, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. You know, that was fight. great loved it dude that was absolutely so great content fun. hey Call of Duty Activision check it out hashtag hashtag it I'm gonna hashtag uh, can I, I went to Waffle House the other day and I got some hash browns dude <laughs> dude hashtag I me some hash browns but anyway Call of Duty bring back the clan wars do you have the account like the Call of Duty account yeah like, I'm on there what do you, what do I what did, what is I mean, that? If you're not playing the game, it's not worth much. Okay. So that that's like keeps your whole but I could like log in, it would like it like show my whole history of every Call of Duty I, or no? I don't remember how it all goes. I have I don't go online. I mean there's really not much use for it today. I'm not i mean if you want to go in and check out what your stats are like, oh my KDR is like 17.325. Mine's nowhere near that. Yeah, it's mine's like, like it's usually like a point zero eight. Point. I rock a point eight. Man. I was gonna say five, but now I'll say eight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, one, one point one. one, point I, one. I'm not a competitive player. Yeah, I I, suck. I'm a leisurely I suck, fellowship man. player. Dude, I was playing. But you, if, if they could do the Call of Duty Major League Fellowship Gaming, I'd be in. I'm, yeah, that would be great. Come hang out. We're not gonna keep score. Everybody gets a trophy. I did one. I guess I'm not. A not guy. really. I wouldn't do that. Very you would do great, man. I mean, I'd I, I have fun. I, I couldn't go. I could. This whole thing where you, everybody gets a trophy. Yeah, that's Everybody sucks. doesn't get a promotion. I'm just telling you the real world. I'm competitive, but I'm mainly for the Brotherhood. But, man, in, like, the yeah. Destiny or even Fortnite, when, like, the game is on me and I suck every time. Oh, and dude, I that feel stress. so bad. Nine I feel times terrible. out of ten, dude. Nine times out of ten, I'm going to let the team down. I hate that, man. One time out of ten, I'm going to, like, trip and fall and kill everybody. And I, when someone, and like, win. if you were the guy and you, I would feel so bad. Like, oh, dude, it's okay, please. But the people that are like, golly, like in Destiny, those stupid, what do they call it? Uh, where you have to simultaneously get everybody locked in and they go. The raids? The raids. Dude, I love the raids. Dude. The raids, the raids were pretty sick. I, I loved that aspect of yeah, it. Yeah, if you have endless amount of time. And it, it's it's a grind. If you could say, okay, yeah, I could play five hours uninterrupted. And look, here, here's the deal on that. That is such a pain. You have to know the part you're playing in that, and that that's where yes. those come in complicated. Because if if you just want to go out and have fun and no really care in the world, go out play the missions and the strikes, have fun. The raids are I that next it. level up. Where it's like, it. hey, commit, teamwork, communication. No, but it sucks when none of your friends are online. Yeah. And you have to get on that stupid website and log into the... LFG.net. Oh, gosh. Looking for groups. Then you get into, like, oh, I'm going to get the sword or whatever. And then you get into a fresh group of Dude, guys and you're like, the look. The Crota and the sword, the cheese. Any of you that are watching that do the cheese with the Crota. That's awesome when you're with your friends. But when you're yeah. playing some random chums yeah, that yeah. hate you, like, look, I've never played this before. What do I do? You get the sword, you go to the left, you go to the right, when he comes down with it, then you, I'm like, okay, why do I have this? You take the sword. And you, Even with my experience, I wasn't a big fan of doing LFG. I hate I, I, I that. I didn't, I would do it every now and then if I like, had to get some loot for the week or whatever. Uh, but I didn't like doing that because at the same point, it's like I, I would rather go play with my friends. I probably ended up like 200 extra people on my PSN friends list that just from that. 
And I've lately started going and deleting people. I'm like, I, yeah, we I all did that. Like, I, I never see you online. I don't even know who you are. And then I deleted somebody that, like, the next day, I was playing with my brother, and we started playing with the dude again. I'm like, oh, I do remember that dude. Yeah, send me a friend invite again. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> it was, just it was, added it you. It was hilarious. He was a really cool dude too. About it, I was like, yeah, I was cleaning up. My, my friends listen, I totally forgot your name, but now I remember who you are. I'll, we're good. We'll connect again. Why did I think he blocked me. What? I'm just kidding. Oh, I would too. <laughs> I would not blame him one bit. You know his social security number? I don't know why I would say that. He's out of the country. He doesn't have an SSN. Why did y'all make those? I think it was during Ghost where everybody made like a second username. Yeah. Why so, do that for? We were trying to get into like a competitive group where a bunch of people oh, like, oh. yeah. Because the, the, the clan was founded more on fellowship. Not on, oh, you got to do this, you got to do that. Get. So y'all made But there were some people that were extremely competitive in the group. Like, I want to play and I want to compete. And we're like, well, if, if we want to extend the brotherhood and if you want to go do that, we can give you a space under our umbrella to go do that with some of us that want to go do yes. it. So you don't have to go completely find a whole new group. We should do that with Clash of Clans. We, we did do that. What? Is that not, is that like private? No, we, we did that a couple years ago. Really? I don't remember that. Wait a minute, I thought I was in, was I in there? I don't remember. Okay. You need to kind of. You know? Well, the season, yeah. right? Like baseball season. season. I told you, man, it's good. I'm not upset about it. Like, I don't remember what happened. You weren't there. It wasn't your season. 2020 XFL. You know what that is? Yeah. It's a new football league yeah. coming. That's me. I'm the XFL player. Yeah. I come in when I, you know. I mean, but like, that's not a good example because they were around like years ago. Like 1999, and then they yeah. sucked. Yeah. I watched a lot of those games. I thought they were great, by the way. Yeah. Well, Dude, I think I'm going to have to run here in a minute. I got to head across town to the other side of this great megaplex. I'm going to edit that out. You say, oh, I had such a great time talking to you, but, or I say that. I'm like, oh, I, man, well, Poe, I got to, well, I think I'm going to have to run. Did I just totally ruin your closing? No, I'm editing all that out, and I'm like, okay, Poe. But well, did I ruin your closing? Is that why you're editing me out? No, I'm not editing you out. Oh, you're not? I'll leave it all the same, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to edit nothing. <laughs> Too much time to go in and splice it perfectly to make sure my body movement's right yeah. there. <laughs> I actually love not editing anything. That's what I think is the coolest thing about I'm it. I'm like, I'm not freaking editing anything. You've got to put the annotation in there. You don't have to do it this time. Remember, like, earlier on, like, the oh, first 10 minutes? Golly. Okay, I'll do that. It's right there. From left to right. You know. Hey, I think about, should I start, like, wearing a suit? Look at me. I'm like, oh, are you kidding me? No, you're not a suit How kind of guy attractive this. is this? I'm, like, leaning well, like in my that, chair. Uh -uh, that's not attractive. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put it. Like it a, says some click and subscribe. No, that's not a good thing. Right there. <laughs> you have to check out the <clears> video, <throat> see that. Oh my god, please go please. on to YouTubes of dot com. Oh man, Jesus, please help me. Hallelujah, man. Dude, this was awesome. It's been man. a blast. Oh my gosh, you are so awesome. I just I'm appreciate here, you coming and hanging out with me. Glad to be here. I really appreciate you, man. I mean, I just gotta do one thing here. So at the end. I don't know what to do now. Oh, I, I just cut it. I, I don't no, know. You don't have to stop. <laughs> um, just a reminder, people, go to the bro bracket. Your next guest, dude, I, I felt Joel's pain. I mean, I know where he's coming from. Um, yeah, that but guy. But for your next guest, listen to the podcast, number one, and bring your bro bracket. I mean, you're going to lose. I don't know when I'm going to reveal mine. I'm actually kind of going back and forth with two people, but I, yeah. I'll save mine for Sweet 16. That is so awesome. Look at yes, that. You do. Thank you so much. Yeah. I figured I'd do it that way. That's awesome. No, it was cool. And I, I, just, I didn't want you to see through everything because you could see it. So <laughs> I'm like, what better to cover it up with than your own logo? Dude, that's amazing, man. Thank you. Okay, well, go ahead and smash the freaky like button and subscribe and share it. I hate saying that. I bet you guys hate when I do say that.